All right, Brent Fikowski here, The Professor. The Professor Project, another fun week of training here. We got a week of testing. So this is uh, May 20th, 2024. And this week, I am going to be competing at semifinals, and you're going to be competing at semifinals along with me. So on Friday, you'll be doing uh, the workouts Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can mix up the order, obviously, for myself. It's a little strange. Usually, we do two workouts a day. Uh, this year, day one is just a single workout, just the run and clean and jerk workout. Day two, there's two workouts, front squat workout in the morning, and then the rope climb workout in the afternoon. And then day three, the final day of competition Sunday, there's three workouts um, kind of back to back. So for yourself, uh, we've got Thursday as a rest day uh, to kind of get you pumped up and psyched up and rested well for the competition. But if you need to move things around, you know, if you want to just train Thursday, Friday, Saturday, have your Sunday as your usual rest day. Obviously, next week is going to be a recovery week, a restorative week, and then we're going to be getting into some games prep. Knock on wood, never count my eggs before they hatch, but if things go according to plan, I um, should qualify for my ninth CrossFit Games this year. Uh, plan for success, but at the same time, don't count on it. Uh, you got to put in the work. <laughs> uh, yeah, so first three days are just a bit of a little bit of a taper, right? So kind of want to keep things sharp, keep things fresh, but nothing to make you too sore or too tired. Keep the weights up so you're feeling strong. Um, don't want to become lethargic in those last few days. Um, keep the speed going on the echo bike a little bit, but want to make sure you're, you're feeling fresh. The legs are feeling fresh for that first workout for the run. And um, yeah, you're feeling recovered. Your grip's feeling recovered as you get into the toes to bar rope climbs. And yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to semifinals. So um, I'll talk a little bit about myself. Like, uh, you know, I'm going to be obviously watching the Europe semifinal closely this weekend to see how they all do. But um, really just focusing on my own, you know, performance and kind of learning maybe from a few technical things and just kind of good to know approximately where my times will shape up. Um, but every semi is a little different. Sometimes some regions are fitter, some regions are stronger, some regions are better at gymnastics, so you never really know. Um, and I'm just excited to, uh, to give my best. I think the first workout's gonna go really well for me. Um, you know, we've been putting a lot of work on the running and I was cycling the clean and jerks well in quarterfinals. So kind of a combination of those two things should do, should do well for me. Workout two is going to be tough. You know, those front squats are pretty heavy for me. Five sets of 10 at 225. But uh, testing for that went pretty well. Um, and I'm, I'm excited by that one. I think a lot of times I'm as excited or more excited for workouts that are not as much in my wheelhouse, especially if it's been something I've been working on, which, um, you know, front squat strength and back strength and positioning in those front squats. You know, we did those speed front squats from the floor. Um, we've done all sorts of stuff to, to, to build for that. So I'm, I'm really excited. I uh, feel like that could be an opportunity for me to, to get a score there that I wouldn't have been capable of getting, you know, a year ago or two years ago. And uh, the workout after that, um, that one's going to be fun. Lots of transitions, echo bike, rope climb, box jump, rope climb. You're just back and forth. And I like those fast transition workouts. Um, you know, going to be out of breath and just have to have the confidence in my legless rope climbs to push the pace everywhere else. Uh, kind of the same thing on the handstand walk rower, a bit of a frenetic pace. Um, really that one for me is just trying to handstand walk as fast as I can. <laughs> you know, there's some people like, uh, you know, Mal O'Brien or Shelby Neal or Danielle Brandon that can just run on their hands and I can go pretty quick on my hands by most, most people's standards, <laughs> but by the standard that those great athletes set, I'm a little bit slower. So, um, you know, just trying to be as fast as I can. I've been working on it. Um, but it's still just, you know, not quite as quick as some other athletes. And so hopefully, um, you know, I can really have quick transitions, not make any mistakes and, uh, you know, row as hard as I can while still keeping those hands down walks unbroken and keeping them fast. So that'll be fun. Looking forward to the snatch. Uh, obviously I did well in that workout in 2016. So it'd be nice to improve upon that time. And then the finale, I mean, it's that, it's the fine balance there where you kind of work backwards and you go, oh, it'd be good to do those lunges unbroken. It'd be good to do the ring muscle ups unbroken. And then you go, okay, well, how fast can I bike while still doing those two things? And uh, so hopefully I can strike that balance. It'll be different at the end of the weekend, you know, um, than, uh, you know, some of the interval testing I've done, I'm sure. So hopefully get to see some of the boys from Europe and how, how they fare and maybe uh, adjust my strategy based on some things I've seen there and which guys went out a little too hot or which guys maybe started a little too slow. Um, but I think there's definitely room in that workout to, even though it is a sprint, to build a little bit of momentum later and not, uh, you know, blow up too quick on that first bike. I'm really excited. I'm excited to go to California. I'm excited to see some fans. I'm excited to compete in the tennis stadium. 
Um, excited to you know meet up with my coach uh, David Spur, and you know uh, you know see Alice and Scuds. She's on the only training squad. But yeah, just lots of and lots of friends, you know, other coaches like Justin Kotler and my agent uh, James Seeley, and just a bunch of other good people there. Um, it's always fun, you know. We train so hard all year, and you know we're on messaging online, but we don't see each other in person that often. I think this will be a really fun weekend to to catch up with a lot of people and um, put on a show. So I hope that uh, you guys enjoy these workouts. And as for scaling, please scale. Um, first of all, I would say like honor the time cap in these workouts. So if you do or don't scale, honor the time cap with the exception of like, you know, the handstand walk workout or um, even the first workout. If you're like, oh, I'm almost done. I'll finish the clean and jerks, but don't just keep slogging away and make some 10 minute workout into a 30 minute workout. So pick movements. You can do the workouts as prescribed, obviously, if you want to compare yourself to the semifinal athletes, but also that's what the open and the quarters are for, right? Um, to compare yourself to the games athletes and the semifinal athletes in workouts that are, you know, uh, maybe a little lighter, maybe, um, you know, less legless rope climbs or handstand walks, for example, the, the higher skill, more challenging movements. So it's up to you. You can do these workouts exactly as they're written. I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, or scale them a bit. So I would say for that first workout, I would do the exact same thing, but just uh, slightly less weight on the clean and jerk. For the second workout, I'd probably do um, just definitely lighter weight on the front squat. <laughs> if, uh, if you're not sure, I would, I would pick a weight that you think, oh, I can probably go unbroken, but maybe, and that might be 135 that might be 115 that might be 200 whatever that is where you're like ooh, that's gonna be tough and then you could cut down the reps a little bit on the toes to bar the double unders but I keep them about the same instead of 120 you could do like you know 75 and 15 cut it down by like 25% um, but keep it pretty similar but definitely drop the weight on the front squat the next workout for a lot of people I would just say just go to normal rope climbs right or do a set of uh, you know whether it's like chest to bars or bar muscle ups you know do 10 chest to bars um, but that's going to be a lot. That's going to be 140 chest bars, <laughs> right? So keep that in mind, right? It's 14 sets. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, from what I've heard, the box jumps are going to be stepped down. That's going to be the rule. Um, so no rebounding and yeah, just find a, a, a gymnastics movement that, you know, you can still kind of push the pace on the box jumps and jog over, do a rope climb or do, you know, a couple burpee pull-ups or do a couple kipping pull-ups and then jump right on the bike and sort of keep that pace. You want the box and the echo bike in a perfect world. Yeah, they're kind of recovery from the gymnastics, but you're still pushing a little past recovery pace um, because you have confidence in that gymnastics movement. And, you know, you want to be getting a time that's uh, under the time cap, essentially. Um, next workout, handstand walk rowing. I mean, obvious place to scale there is just shorter handstand walks. Um, and then the next workout is the snatch to so just lower the weights. Uh, last week we did, um, some snatch percentage work where we kind of did half the ladder with some rest, rested, and then did another half the ladder. So you ended up doing the whole ladder, at least in total repetitions. And so, you know, had some percentages there. So that last barbell should be under your one rep max, obviously. And then, um, you know, just kind of basically subtract 10 pounds from there. So for me, like my max snatch is 300 pounds. Most men at the regionals or at semifinals, their max snatch is going to be around 280, 285. And so that last bar is 265. So if you think of that, you go, oh, my max snatch is, you know, 200 pounds or 190 or, you know, 135. Then you kind of work back from that and go, okay, well, at the end of the ladder, I got to do two snatches a little bit below my PR, right? And then from there, you can just add you know, subtract five or 10 pounds per weight. And you'll be like, oh, I'm going to start at, you know, 95 pounds, or I'm going to start at, uh, you know, 135 instead of 185 or something like that. So that's what I would do is think about, okay, those last two snatches should be under by PR. And then from there, let's subtract, you know, 10, five, 15 pounds sort of thing. Um, every, every barbell. And then that last workout, uh, that one's tough. <laughs> uh, there's no messing around there. That's uh, you know, the 30 Cal echo 22 Cal for the women directly into 15 muscle ups, directly into a walking lunge. So the obvious thing there is, uh, you know, change the muscle ups into like burpee pull ups or just into a big set of chest to bars um, or even bar muscle ups. If you're easy, better at bar muscle ups, try to find something where you can push the pace on the echo bike, right? So you're push the pace on the echo bike into a, you know, past comfortable, immediately jump off and do some gymnastics. It could even be burpee box jump overs, right? Um, and then grab those dumbbells and just 
hold on for dear life, hope your grip doesn't give out. And so for me, those dumbbells are 100 pounds a hand, which for me is plenty heavy and I'm a good lunger. So, you know, even 50 pounds a hand is gonna be, it's gonna be brutal for 72 feet. Um, that's a fun one. Again, use the time cap, right? So it's chose, choose something appropriately. Um, you know, if I was to coach someone locally, I'd say, hey, just do 20 cal echo bike, you know, eight bar muscle ups and then 75 foot walking lunge. Like, I think that's a great workout, very similar workout. And, you know, just do it with 50 or 60 pounds per hand. And, you know, you want to get that sprint out of it, have some fun with it. Again, if you want to do the actual workout, go for it, but keep with the time cap. And if you're breaking down to singles on the muscle ups, um, maybe just, you know, Maybe you should have done fewer reps <laughs> and uh, keep that intensity high. Try and find a rep range where you're like, Ooh, I could probably go unbroken on those, that gymnastic set. You know, maybe that's 15 chest bars, right? Maybe that's, maybe that's uh 10 bar muscle ups or you're like, Ooh, you know, if I go hard on the bike, I might just be able to, you know, squeeze out an unbroken set of toes to bar. Right. Um, so have some fun with that one, you know, create something that's going to challenge you, but it's going to give you a similar stimulus. I think we'll see some, we'll see quite a few men that go like under three minutes. Right. Um, I think the women will be more like a little slower just because probably because of the bike and the muscle ups are a little harder for the women, uh, generally speaking, some will still crush it and go probably under three minutes. But yeah, so thinking about that and you go, okay, well, that's, you know, 45 seconds on the bike and then that's 45 seconds on the rings and that's like, you know, a minute 20 on the lunges. You're like, oh, that's moving pretty quick, right? <laughs> so um, you have to think of it in that range. You're like, okay, I'm only going to be on that bike for like under a minute and then I need to go forward, do a big set of unbroken something or maybe two sets and immediately grab those those dumbbells and get lunging. Uh, I hope you enjoy the semifinal week. I know I will. I appreciate the support, everyone. And uh, I'm excited to have a deload week already <laughs> after all of this. I'm not a done recovery restorative week, I suppose. And then uh, also just as excited to get back into some games training and um, you know have fun this summer. I've been tinkering with the program and like what I'm going to be doing and, and therefore what you are all going to be doing after semis and uh, got some good ideas. Lots of strongman stuff, um, transitioning some skill work into some workouts and uh, prepping for some one-art maxes. It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a fun summer and uh, thanks everyone. Talk to you all soon.